Cheers. Um, okay. I've got a plan for what I need to do. No. But um, yeah, there's there's lots I want to do to it, and like some not, some things I've tried, and like like this for example. This this sounds horrible, but I want to do something like this. Um. But I only have like a sample of half a bar, so I need someone to play that basically. Um, but yeah, I want something like that. Um, it's either that or brushes. Um, I don't know what they call that technique where they just like wipe the snare, <laughs> snare wiping with brushes. Um, but yeah, something like that. Um, something sizzly basically. Um, and also, what I need to do is because um, this was all really lazily done in about, I don't know, maybe like six hours or something like that. I basically just took um, the piano and um, like put it everywhere else. So everything is exactly the same, which is kind of a bit shitty. So what I'm going to do first is go through, I'm going to go through the guitar because like the piano sounds right being like that. But um, I need to go through the, the guitar and sort of, not rearrange it, but um, make it so it's like right on guitar sort of thing. Um, um, so I think, although I think this is okay, I could be wrong. Um, just give me a sec. Uh, so this is a C1, which is not, that's not relevant. Okay. Um, All of this is, I guess. <laughs> Pardon me. I don't know. Um, well, since I, I haven't, um, I haven't installed uh, Superior Drummer yet because, um, yeah, I actually spent last night doing loads of fucking admin, which I hate, um, trying to get lots of things sorted out like for the label basically because I know I said that I wasn't going to like do much with that anymore um which is true I'm not going to be like releasing like a like yeah regularly like I was definitely not um I, I still need to sort out like some things that I was supposed to release already and um and sort out the accounting as well because people have to be paid man um but yeah I'm, I'm probably going to do contact um I do have some pretty cool contact libraries for this. Maybe, maybe I'll do that. But, um, first, I'm going to sort out this guitar. Oh, 
sort of fucking chord is that? Sound better up there. It sounds very, very different. Okay, it was just these ones which don't really make a lot of sense. Um, okay, let's put that uh, maybe J. Okay. Strong action going on there.
accept that. <laughs> Get rid of those. Oh wow, Jesus Christ, chat is dead today. Mad. Perhaps all the, uh, the animal cruelty from yesterday is like really fucked people up. <laughs> oh God damn, you're just, it's just a bunch of lurkers then, Jesus, fair. to make a copy of that and because this needs to be up and the rest need to be down at open I think so uh, bring this I wish the wheel worked on there frame position to seven and then no, that's better. okay I'm gonna get rid of those no snares because I really hate them. <laughs> um, okay, so. No, that's not it either. There we go. Actually, you know what? Yeah, this sounds better up there altogether. Wow. Ironically, my internet's being actually behaving today. I'm not dropping any frames or anything. Yay. <laughs> hey, man. I hope you're all doing well anyway. 
This is uh, some, some random trivia. I've done like four shits today. <laughs> oh shit, I don't think this is going to be able to be played. Ah, it's that, isn't it? Okay. Nice. All right, sod it. We'll work it out. Yeah, I mean, I'm trying to trying to prepare it so it's like super easy for someone to actually play it. But um, yeah, I mean, I could. Um, yeah, oh, yeah, I'm gonna try doing that. Okay, right. So, whoa, Jesus Christ! No, don't do that. Okay, right. So. I'll oh, just mute all of the... Now, hopefully, oh, great. <laughs> um, uh, mm -mm -mm. Right, go back to this, to this, to this, to this, to this, to this, to So, 
Simple enough. I'll just get rid of all of these bits. <laughs> Jesus. That's not any help whatsoever. Okay, anyway, cool. I want that, and I want that, maybe. Yeah, it's an Orange Tree um, library. Um, the songwriter one, it's like, um, I think it's a Gibson, Gibson Steel Strong. It's really nice. I agree. No, it's just out of the box, it just sounds how. Let um, me just get rid of that. Really nice. Um, let me just. Uh, I might. I just fuck that off with this one. Um, so. Fuck it. I'm just gonna go through this quickly because um, if there's if there is anything wrong, I can just go back and change it anyway.
That's a pretty good guess. Okay, that looks looks okay. Looks okay. Do 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 do. Get rid of that. Hmm, it sounds a bit weird having the... Let me just end. Yeah, the only thing about like these libraries is I wish, I wish there was like a fingered articulation. Like there's just not, it's only picked. So yeah, I just wish there was like a, a, pit, a fingered articulation. Otherwise I'd just keep them like that. <laughs> How many tunes are already done? I've got like uh, 25 minutes of tunes uh, and I need to get like 40 minutes um yeah it's gonna be it's, it's not gonna be like a proper long album it's gonna be like 40 minutes but um yeah so yeah i just i need to get like 15 minutes worth of more more basically um but this one this one's only like two minutes i think something like that um so if i yeah two two and a half minutes so what is missing oh okay just get rid of this because that that orange bar gets on my nerves. Um, so yeah, I think I might I might extend this and um, yeah, actually make it into an actual tune as opposed to like an interlude. Um, but I'm not sure. I might not do that. <laughs> so um, yeah, I think I've got I've got like six six tracks so far, and if I can get up to eight, that will that will do it basically. Um, but yeah, like uh, I want it to be about 40 minutes long-ish, something like that. At least 40 minutes long, even. Um, okay, so where am I coming here? So... Uh, um, yeah, the, the, the contact one isn't great. It just sounds like a library to me. Like that's why I bought these ones. Cause um, yeah, even like the the demo on the NI website is like that. Just sound that doesn't sound real at all. Doesn't sound real to me at all. Um, whereas all the demos 
like on the Orange Tree website, it's like that could easily just be someone playing a guitar easily. Um, so yeah, they've got it right, basically. Um. Um, okay, so I feel like yeah, that, that's all right. That's all right like that. Okay, let's sort this out because they. Yeah, they sound really like harsh by themselves, right? But in the tune, they actually sound right. That level of attack is actually good for the track, weirdly. Um, so, let's see what we've got here. Um, just carry that on. And I've, t I've taken loads of the low end out of this as well, so like... And it's like... Um, well, the, th the thing is, the thing that um, differentiates this from the contact one, or I say contact one, the NI one, um, is you can change the fretting position. So I usually go to seven because like it sounds like... Um, it sounds more dull. Well, not dull, but like, it's, it's hard to explain. Look, this isn't. This is the open chord. And this is at the seventh position, so everything's been played up the neck. It just sounds more sort of muted. Like uh, I don't know. It just sounds better. Like every, play stuff played up the neck sound always sounds better than open to me. Like open is for like country, that's that's it. But like further up the neck, that's where you get the folky sound, and that's what I wanted. Like that sort of classical folky sort of. Yeah, I know that they're sort of different, but yeah, that's the sound I wanted. Um. Yeah, mate, I was there with this album, to be fair. Like, I, yeah, I had to, like, take months off of work because, like, I just wasn't in the right place for it, man. And I thought, like, instead of, like, trying and, like, um, I don't know, like, not ignoring, but, like, constantly having to have a go at the boy because he's here and, like, you know, like, neglecting the missus and the baby and, yeah. I thought I would not do that. Um, yeah. But yeah, I, it's, I should have been way further than I am with this. Way further. Um, but yeah, you can't, you can't make stuff in a certain mood if like you are not in that mood yourself. Like it's, uh, yeah. Less <laughs> flappy jack. Yeah, yeah. That, that's it. Yeah, yeah. Um, and if I was to play it on guitar, I would play stuff up there. I I just would. Um, um, you can't piss a good rise. Yeah, yeah. Like that's yeah. To to write something more spiritual, alcohol is the, your worst fucking enemy, basically. <laughs> like alcohol is the killer of all spirituality. It's it's weird the Christian church uses wine for a sacrament. <laughs> anyway
must be something other than. That's weird. Oh, maybe that makes sense rhythmically with the with the lead. I don't know. setting on the patch where you um there is a legato setting which you can set um and i've set it for like two semitones like a a major second but yeah yeah major second so you can you can nah you can you can move it so uh, yeah and then basically all that means is any notes that are close enough will automatically um have legato but you have to have them overlapping if that makes sense um so yeah, oh, I'm going to change that back actually because it doesn't make sense to have that. Um, but I am going to change this one though because this is supposed to be the lead one. So um, I'll move that to like perfect fifth and then hopefully
And yeah, you got pitch bend range. Um, I don't know what this is. Oh. Oh, okay. All right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, I get that. Um, vibrato curve. Oh, there's vibrato. I forgot about that. <laughs> um, fret noise. Nah, we'll stick with that. Yeah, and you got all these humanization things. Um, I, d I don't really. I play it all off grid anyway, so that's pretty human. And uh, I think humanization just adds more round robins as well. So I, I yeah, I'd rather not have more round robins. Um, and yeah, you can uh, you can yeah, like make double tracks and like each guitar is. Hang on, I'll, I'll show you actually. So it's two guitars instead of one that's been spread. That sounds nice though, but I think... Um it sounds fine like that to me. Um, but yeah, there's lots of options in this, man. It's really good. I really like it. Um, Pick modeling, um, yeah, I, I don't know, I don't know what that is. I'll have to, I'll have to actually read the manual to see what all these things do. But um, they're, they're not cheap though. That's the only thing. Like, but they're worth the money, I think. And like they do, like I think, yeah, they do this thing where um, they give you points for buying packs. So like, if you buy like I don't know, a hundred pounds worth of packs, they give you a certain amount of money off like your next ones and stuff which kind of devalues their products a little bit but i'm not going to complain really about that it's um it makes it it gives you an incentive to keep buying more of their stuff which is <laughs> kind of good a good business model really um yeah i've got loads of their stuff now man you know I, they've got like harp which i use quite a lot um and um that zither thing that i've used quite a lot that's from them. Um, I think they got cello as well, which um, which I was gonna buy, but I bought another one instead. Like, um, um, I think it was like a Tina Guo um, pack, and while the legatos are so beautiful in that, like, it's just recorded in a cave. What it sounds like, so it's just fucking unusable, basically. And I didn't realize. I thought like. It was just like the reverb effect because they never turned the reverb effect off in the demo. And um, I just thought it was that. And I turned it off and like literally that made no difference. Like it was just, yeah, it's, it's terrible. Um, so. um, it is recorded with a pick, but I'm, I am compressing it. Um, and also that's the, that's the velocities. But it sounds it sounds good with the tune, like being that fucking aggressive, like pa. But yeah, if you if you want it to be like quiet. It's just the velocities I'm using. It's a really wide range of dynamics in this in these libraries as well. That's what's so good about them. Um But yeah, if you go super, super quiet. Beautiful, really, really nice. So yeah, that's weird. Like, hang on, I'm just gonna. Um, get all these, group them together, and just mute the shit out of them. Mute the shit. Out. <laughs> What's wrong with me? Nah, a bit boomy. Yeah, cool. 
just did a quick sanity check there. Um, okay, so, where was I? Come on. Behave. Behave. All right. It seems like there's actually legitimate questions here. Um, um, I don't know. Um, if you record the guitar yourself, just in your house, like, you know, it's it's probably best, yeah, to just use one mic, man. Just use one mic. And then um, either double track for stereo or if you want like the sort of intimate sound but stereo do mid side but like it is actually really hard to do like left right hiking like it's not an easy thing especially like if you haven't got a really good environment so like yeah i would suggest just not trying that at all like unless you're in a studio um with someone who knows what they're doing um because it yeah people it's like a, a, a career long skill that it, it takes ages to learn man um yeah and it's all dependent on the room as well and the guitar so i mean it's yeah mid side is a lot easier it's a lot more forgiving let's say um yeah so i i, I would i would also always record in mono really um just a single mic just because yeah like it's, it's easier to get like a good sound out of one mic um Whereas, you know, you're fighting so many variables with two mics that, yeah, to an unexperienced recording engineer, it's like, yeah, just use one mic. It's, yeah, it's better. Um, so yeah, that's that's what I would say. Um, but yeah, layering it with, with Nambura, that's that's a good idea. In fact, let's let's try that with this. But for the end bit, let's let's just skip ahead, and I'm just gonna put. Let's find the Embira. But I'm gonna take all of the attack off of the Embira. I'm just gonna use it as a resonance. So Embira. <laughs> no. Let's peel this sausage. Sorry, bear with me. Hey, that weird papery stuff you get on the on Torito. Hmm. Okay, so I've I'll just use the chords. <laughs> okay, that's uh, that's different. Right. That makes no sense. Hmm. Okay, let's see something. Oh, maybe it's not very good at legato. Hang on. Oh, it's obviously not very good at legato, but um. That's fucking weird. 
So fuck that. I'll just uh, nope. I'll use this instead. This is a kind of a similar thing, but different. favorite though obviously I've done this a few times on stream now so sorry if you've seen it before but um let me just um let's just try that one no not that one uh, chew back on. I'll keep that. That's pretty sick. Anyway, let's try it there as well. Uh, works when it's like exposed, I think. Oh, I love that. Anyway, I'm going to have to... Uh, just, I'll carry on with what I was doing and then I'm going to copy that over because this is essentially the same as this section. Um, I just need to fix the chords just so they make sense.
Okay, so I'm going to move that over to there, perhaps, yeah. Yeah, I saw that. Right, and then move that as well, because it's basically the same. And then move that up there. Sweet. Um, yeah, no, I agree. You can you can get an amazing sound out of contact. Like, I mean, I think this sounds all right, and this is all contact. Um, I think the thing that is missing from contact is uh, air. It's just, it, I don't mean like white noise. I mean like air. Like that's that's what I gained in Deliverance when I when I laid up the drums and all the guitars. It wasn't like, yeah, it, it's fucking weird, man. It's very weird. It's a very hard thing to describe as well. It's like distance between the source and the microphone, which isn't reverb. There's no reverb. It's fucking air. Like, yeah, it's very hard to explain, but it creates depth. Yeah, it creates depth, basically. That like It's very hard to get a, a 3D mix with libraries, in my opinion. Mmm. Jeez. Mm. Wow. Not to say it can't be done, but it's very difficult. Um, and also, like, uh, libraries, they don't, um, they don't have the same amount of, like, uh, sympathetic resonances. So, like, when you're playing on a piano, when you hit a certain key, you don't just hear that key. You hear, like, fucking loads of vibrations happening with all the other notes. And the same with a guitar as well. It's like, when you hit a note, you're not just hearing that note. You're hearing, like all the other strings vibrating but like in a library all those other strings are isolated they're not like they're all padded and like they, it's like they don't make any noise so it's it's too clean and too perfect so yeah you, you want the yeah the the impurities that's what you gain from recording i suppose um which ironically make it more pleasing to listen to like it's like the impurities make it more pleasing this is weird because um, our ears are very, very good at hear, like d detecting randomness, and like they're also very, very good at like calling out fake randomness. Like, yeah, so that's yeah, that's why like you know a piano library. Well, to me anyway, piano libraries are the biggest culprit. Like, they they never sound as good as a real piano ever. Like, they might just sound big and wide and you know pleasing and stuff, kind of, but. If you get someone that plays the piano beautifully to play like a um, a record like a library and then play a real piano, it's a totally different experience, man. Completely different. Um, yeah. Mercury. <laughs> I'm well behind in the chat. What's going on? Um. Yeah, no, I didn't, I didn't mean that. Like, <laughs> Alicia's keys is 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 okay. It's all right. It does the job basically, but I mean, when you collapse it down into mono, it sounds like shit. Um, I mean, I'll yeah, I'll demonstrate. Yeah, it's almost like certain notes are okay and then other notes are like all phased out and like yeah it's just it, that's the problem from recording with two mics like i really wish i really wish that there was like an option like they just recorded with a mono mic as well and you had the option to to use that if you if you wanted to um because then you wouldn't have any of those weird phasey artifacts like it just sounds like it's kind of swimming in itself. Like it's really weird. Oh, also, I've got like a couple of layers to that. So one of them's a felt unicorder.
just for some like top end really. And I think actually, um, let me see. Uh, yeah. And the only reason it actually sounds like any good is because I've used the whole pedal or the sustain pedal. And if you don't use that, the libraries, they sound very, very robotic. But yeah, with, with, the, with the sustain pedal down, they do sound a little nicer. Like you've, you've got this like movement around the sides and stuff. But again, that doesn't really, doesn't really help the mono like I'm complaining about. Here, like the the lead the top melody completely disappears in mono it's like okay fair enough well it doesn't completely disappear but like the, the transients are still there but like it just yeah it just falls off a cliff basically I I just I really wish there was like uh, a, a mono option like, you know, easy boots. Yeah, mate, like that Unicordo is so, so nice. And it's like, it's one of those instruments as well that like, I've got to give props to NI for that actually. Like they actually built an instrument to, to, rec to sample. That's fucking mental. It doesn't exist apart from their one. So yeah. And like just the concept as well, it's such a simple thing. So like, I know, because a piano has three strings per per key, and like so, I know, I know what would happen if we um just had one string per key. You know, sounds kind of like a harp and a guitar, kind of, but it's very very pure sounding. Yeah, and I mean, I've tried like layering up different pianos, some in mono, but then like you get this weird thing where like, um, yeah, it, it sounds fucking weird basically when you do that, like because no piano is perfectly in tune, right? So when you start layering up different pianos, even the like different instances of the same piano, because there's round robins going on, like you will never get the same sample like layered up. So yeah, it just sounds sounds really weird. And like when you try, when you try and like mono like one of them, like it kind of ruins what it sounds like in stereo. So like yeah, it's like you, you can't have both, which is really shit. Um, but you can you can have both, but you just have to be Queen or not the Queen like Queen the band or you know Elton John, like their piano sounds are perfect in my opinion that's that's what i want basically from a library um but maybe that's too much to ask i don't know um x core mate I, d I didn't think that guy was still making making stuff man all right fair play all right so i've got i've got I've got that there and Okay, so let's just check this one now, because I haven't checked this. Maybe, maybe I can just, I can put this here. But move that. Hang on.
that's another that's another thing I could do actually. Um, so go to play, and then we got different grace note up, oh, grace note down. Da, 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 da. Key switch C sharp one. C sharp one. C sharp one. as well because that could be nice can switch C1 I might add layers to this because this one I, I don't mind being picked because it was I think it was the other one that the um, well I haven't got a name for it yet but that um, yeah it's really hard to fucking describe as well so yeah I'll, I'll just play a little bit of it hang on um, so. this one. I want that to be finger picked and it's not, but I will definitely re record all of that and replace it. But this, I think I'll keep this and maybe like layer it. Um, but then again, if um, I can get someone to perform it better than this is done, then I'll just replace it, man. Um, yeah, I'm not, I'm not being precious about it. I just want to get it as good as I can get it and like get all the articulations I want because then I can just say, do it exactly like this. You know, instead of saying, oh, do it kind of like that, but make it like better. Like that's so fucking vague and stupid. So yeah, I want to, I want to be able to just say, yeah, do it just like this. And then when you do it like that, then when you're finished, we can, you know, you can just do whatever the fuck you like over the top and we'll see what works. That's, that's what I did for deliverance anyway. And that worked out really fucking well. Um, so yeah, that's, that's what I'm planning to do for this. Um, do 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 do. Um, the other one, <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah, I am. I, I do want to do um, live piano as well, like um, record mono piano. Yeah, um, but it's such a yeah, it's a big ask, basically, because A, the piano would need to be in perfect condition. Well, not perfect condition, but, like, to fit in with this tuning-wise, it would need to be perfectly tuned and, like, you know. But saying that, like, I am up for, like, recording piano, even, like, a broken, crappy one, because, you know, that would have character. And, you know, it can't hurt to have that. Um, but, yeah, I mean, yeah, I would really love to, like, re-record all the piano because I've been bitching about piano libraries this whole fucking time but um, <laughs> um but yeah it's a big task because you need 
There's lots of factors that need to come together. Right. Mostly the instrument and the room. You need a really nice room to record piano. And it's like, the room that I'm going to be recording in, it's adequate, but it's no room for a piano, that's for sure. Like, it's not for a piano. It's so small and like, it's tiled. And yeah, it's, it's almost like a kitchen, basically. But it's been converted into a studio. Um, easy crawler. Which instruments are recorded live? Um, the Deliverance, I did drums. All the guitar are recorded live because I didn't have these, in, I didn't have libraries. So all of the guitars are real. Um, cello, violin, vocals, um, piano, uh, Rhodes, um, the Hammond was real as well. Um, uh, upright bass, um, and bass guitar as well. So yeah, a lot of things. <laughs> um, uh, an instrument called the Kora, a Kora, yeah. It's like an African harp, which is um, which is nice. Um, there was a oh, I forget what that's called. What is that? Um, it's kind of like an accordion, but it's like you light light on the floor, and like you've got a pump at the back, and like you yeah. Oh, what the fuck is that called? I forget what it's called, but like it's it's only it's like a sounds like an accordion basically. Um, what else? Loads of percussion. Uh, loads of percussion. It's like uh, sax, obviously. Yeah. Yeah, main, I didn't plan on recording a lot of these instruments, but like, because I did it in my hometown, in Watford, um, and we were all getting really wasted. Like, it just ended up like a party, basically, and like, most of my mates are in bands and do stuff with music. So they're like, oh, let me do something on that. It's like, all right. And I've got loads of Harry Krishna mates and they're all like really sick percussionists. So like I've had like, uh, in the end, um, the tune in the end, um, the end of that, like that was all recorded by my Harry Krishna mates. And it's like, that was so much fun to watch them do. It was like, fucking hell, you guys are beasts. Um, so yeah, it just, it all kind of happened by accident. I'm hoping to do that this time. It turned into like, kind of like a party atmosphere in the studio um, where people just turn up and I'm like, do you have a skill? Let's do it. Um, so yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm kind of hoping to do stuff unplanned like that, basically. Um, maybe I'll hire Jacob. I think he's probably quite expensive. <laughs> Actually, if you guys heard his new track of T-Pain, it's well unexpected for him. You should go listen to it. It's not a hurdy-gurdy, it's, um... Fuck, what is it, man? Hang on, I've got a picture of it somewhere. Let me see. Um... Um... No. Fuck. No. For some reason, it turns up on my screensaver, like, and I don't, I have no idea where it is. So like, fuck, <laughs> this fucking picture. No, no, you don't need to see that. <laughs> That's funny. But yeah, like, I can't remember what it's called, man. Harmonium, a harmonium. That's what it's called. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> I think we thought of that exactly the same time. Um, but yeah, yeah, the end of that track that is really chaotic because there's like five djembe players all playing almost perfectly in sync, and it's like we got it on video as well. And like the people, people are making a documentary about the, the whole process, but like their the hard drive with all of their data went missing somewhere, and like, but I, re I yeah, there's one thing that I really regret about that is that that, that happened. Because, um, yeah, for the world to actually see how that was made, it's like, 
fucking hell, man. Like, mental, mental, mental. Mmm. Mmm. Sorry. Just peeling my sausage. Mmm. <laughs> Yeah, I want to see it again, man. I really want to see it. Like the thing I, I want to see most is the guitarist that was doing a solo for uh, Whispers Part Two, just getting so pissed off. So just <laughs> <laughs> it's funny. He got there in the end, though. Um, what is this? You can actually hear that. Nice. Mono. Mono boy. Okay, so I think I've I've sorted that. This thing, what is this? hate that when like something's too loud so you turn it down by one db and then it's too quiet is anyone else that sensitive to loudness or is it just me right that's really fucking annoying right i'll leave it there it's, it's fine being too loud i suppose mm. <laughs> Jesus Christ, hit stop at the wrong time there. Okay, yeah, so the um, the snare is literally um, an electric window. Obviously that's, um, what have we done to it? Not a lot, actually, it appears. I think I've, um, oh yeah, I've, I've automated down like stuff. So yeah, I think I've actually, all right, yeah, this is a loop that I've made actually. So it wasn't like that at all. Um, but yeah, it's an electric window on a car. It's going, yeah, so that's what that is. Um, and then a rim shot. And then, it says snare, but that's not, it's nothing to do with a snare. Right, I don't know what that is. <laughs> Some sort of click. Let's just leave it at that. Hmm. Oh, that, that is beefy though. Um, what we got there? Big kick, no shit. together I guess. Yeah, gain staging went out of the window in this tune. 
So just. What is that? Oh, the Sheps thing, yeah. I miss that, actually. It made things sound really good. Mm. <laughs> yeah, man, couldn't agree more. Like, this is one of the best purchases I made. It's like the lowest end zoom recorder. Like, you can't even plug a mic into it. It just, you go, hit record and, and, and record stuff. It's amazing. Really good. I couldn't, I couldn't suggest it highly enough. Um, <laughs> yeah, mate. You need to get yourself a recorder. I think this one was like, literally like a hundred pounds. It's very cheap. But yeah. Another thing I'm thinking of getting is a contact mic because you can, yeah, you can plug in um, mics to this, but they're they're not XLR, so you have to. A contact mic would work perfectly with that because they're not XLR. I don't think. So, but yeah, contact mics are. Uh, different kind of thing and pick up like electromagnetic static and stuff to be fair even though i have this and i use it like i don't i still i do not use it enough man like there's so many sounds that happen i'm so oh man i wish that yeah you can't you can't go back in time and recreate a sound once it's happened man it's just you can try a lot of times you, you sort of can but a lot of the time it's just one-offs and you can't ever get it back um. Yeah, I mean, yeah, the wind covers are the one if you're going to be recorded outside, because um, yeah, wind noise is it's not the one. Or like a way of getting around that is just rolling off the bottom end completely. I think there's an option in this where yeah, I think I've got that happening already. Um, where you just roll off everything below like 150 hertz or something like that because wind is all bass basically. Um. Um, you could um, use a contact mic on a piano, but it wouldn't get any of the top end. You would just have like, um, it would only record the resonance if that makes sense. I. Yeah, sorry, just like munching on cheese here. Like, right. um, yeah, guitar pickups as well. Yeah, mate, contact mics are only like a fiver. They're really cheap as well. But yeah, coil coil pickups. That's another thing. Really cheap, and uh, yeah, you can like record. I know, the, the stuff that you didn't think would make a noise, but you put like a coil pickup next to it, and this is like, it's like, whoa, Jesus Christ. Oh, yeah, that is a cool thing. Yeah, yeah, that could, that could definitely work. Like, um, yeah, I, I just don't think it's been done, basically. Um, and I don't have a piano <laughs> to, to, to record. Mm. But yeah, true say, you can. You can pick, you put um, pickups on anything. Um, you can put pickups on a, a shoebox with an elastic band around it and you could make a bass guitar out of that. <laughs> um... Mate, yeah, that's so... Never thought of that. That's that's actually an amazing idea. Flip-flops in a small bathroom. <laughs> Mate, okay. Let's, um... All right, I can only do this for another, like, I don't know, 30 minutes or so. And then, ironically, I have to go make dinner. <laughs> Even though I've been sitting here eating the whole time. I suppose that's what I get for like taking like four shits in the morning. So I emptied myself completely. Play it as John. What time to sound cut? Um, probably 
when my son goes to bed, basically, um, half eight, nine, something like that. Um, it won't be a, uh, it won't be a proper raffle or anything like that, because I fucked off, fucked off the bots, basically. Couldn't be bothered with them anymore. Um, and plus, they didn't work when I wanted them to work. So I'm, I'm just gonna have people spam the chat with fucking links. <laughs> Um. Mm, that was delicious. Um, yeah. So, what am I doing here? Right, okay. Let's let's actually try and do something. Hmm. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Recorders are good. So, oh. Okay. That's, uh, no, it doesn't work there. find something to, I don't know if it's worth like extending this um, to actually make it into something like better than an interlude. I think I'll try, I'll try. Um, let's see. Yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna try something unassuming. Um, let's go Senor Paganini. Where is that? Mm. Oh, there you go. So let's uh, right. Let's see. So bring that. Oh wait, wait. You know what I'm gonna do? I am going to. Use this and put an arpeggiator on it for now because I haven't got a clue what I'm doing. <laughs> um, just cheat. <clears throat> Put 
random thing on there and a scale thing on there. Oh wait, no, let's not do that. Let's put. Uh, what? I don't even know what key we're in. <laughs> um, let's try C. I think it's C minor, but I could be wrong. leave it that obnoxious. Oh, it's, uh... No, it's not in C minor. Oh, that's an, oh, okay. Let me try and find somewhere where I've put... Uh, oh. No, no, no. Oh, that's annoying. Wish I'd written it down somewhere. No, no, no. Oh man, that's a shame. Oh man, hot. Hot. I don't want to have that naked like that. It's, I wanted to make it like a, an effect. It's before you're wondering <laughs> if I've lost my mind. Uh, time this. There we go.
Yeah, I know what you're talking about. Oh, it's, it's Paganini actually. Like, the guy that basically invented shredding. <laughs> sort your donation value out. Yeah, I mean, yeah. Yeah. You can donate, but like, it doesn't come up anymore because uh, Streamlabs is fucking broken. That's like, another thing. All the, all the bots that I used to use, they just don't work anymore. They just fucking don't work. And when they only work when you want them to fuck off and stop annoying people in the chat. They, yeah, they only, like, annoy the chat. That's all they do. So, um, yeah, I just don't... I don't have them anymore. <laughs> yeah, like, the yeah, the donation button it does work. Um, but it's not... There's no ceremony attached to it anymore, unfortunately. Um, so, yeah. I mean... Yeah, because I'm I'm streaming every day. And like, there's no day where I can just be like, oh, I know, I'll sort, I'll try and sort that out. Because um, yeah, I did try and sort the Streamlabs thing out, and the raffle thing, but it's just like, pfft, ain't happening, mate. Ain't happening. Hey, you're feeling very generous. Props to that. I condone that sort of behaviour. That's uh <laughs> charitable is good. Well yeah, like I said, you can still donate, but like there's no ceremony. It just you know, I just get money in my PayPal from someone and I'm like, oh yeah, nice one. <laughs> and you has to actually physically brag about it in the chat. <laughs> actually, I don't I don't yeah, I think that sort of takes away from the uh <laughs> the sentiment, doesn't it? Um What's the time there now? Uh, it's like 20 to 4. I need to stop at 4 and go and make dinner. Actually, I should probably stop before that, to be fair. Um, yeah, I'll stop in like 10 minutes or something. Um, um, but yeah, this this is... Uh, you got you got to try some things, haven't you? Like... <laughs> Okay, maybe that, that that can be a layer to like uh, let's let's do something else. Do something out of a synth that's slower arpeggio. Um, I will use all right. Um, I'll use Anna because Anna's sexy. Um, let's just plucks. Um, let's do that. Not, not that, not that, <laughs> not that.
from the spring kit. This one. Oh, come on. Just fucking move, please. Wait. Why have I done that? That's retarded. That's <laughs> fucking retarded. Why have I done that? Duh. hate when arpeggiators like do the same note like <laughs> one after another
uh, two little scalar. So no, I, usually like I only use arpeggiators when I'm feeling really lazy. I prefer to do it like this. I just write it in because you get exactly what you want every single time. Um, but yeah, I mean, I'm I'm not opposed to obviously using them because I just did. But um, I think it's better to to just write it in because. Um, like I said, you get what you want then. Okay, let's do that. Um... See, I wouldn't be able to get that from an arpeggiator, basically. Um... But yeah, I, I, yeah. To be fair, the, the, the arpeggiator built into Anna is really good. Um, but again, it's really restrictive because I wouldn't be able to play these chords. Um... I like uh, arpeggiators for like this kind of thing. When like drawing that in would be a fucking nightmare basically and uh, yeah, it would just just a waste of time essentially. Um yeah, for really fast stuff like I like um having arpeggiators super 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 fast and like so sometimes so fast that it sounds like a chord. Um but then when you slow it down it's like you hear all these different articulations. But um but yeah, like I said, it's uh, I I like to um, I like to draw. <laughs> Uh, 
Uh, yeah, the, yeah. The, it was Nando's in particular, wasn't it? I think, yeah. That was one of the, mo the more savoury conversations. It did get a bit, a bit violent, didn't it? <laughs> I'm not, I'm not proud of the, some of the things we talked about. <laughs> I'll be honest. Um, do, do, do. Chinny. Year, I think. Stop. 
Nice, we're going to make dinner soon. I want to make dinner now. You want to make dinner now? Are you hungry? Yeah. Uh, Alright, mate. Mum ate my lunch. You ate your lunch? Well, I should think so by now. Fuck. Mum ate. I forgot to eat it. You forgot? You, Mum ate your lunch? Yeah, I oh. forgot to eat it. <laughs> Which... I'm very forgetful. Yeah. Alright, well, I'm going to go make dinner because this guy's starving. I think that's more important than doing this. Um, um, huh. Oh yeah, yeah. I, I used to do that as well with the yeah the, the grooves, but I, yeah. I, I use the grooves more for um. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I use the grooves more for. For percussion nowadays, because it's yeah, mate, you don't need to get that close. Why is there a camera on um, you? Why is there a camera on me? There isn't. There's a camera there. No. And it's facing me. It's not on me. Um. Or just because of her. Um. I I streaming. Yeah. Well, I was. Yeah. I'm finished now. All right. See you later, everyone. <laughs> see you tomorrow. Um. I'll, I guess that's like an abrupt end to everything. Right, I'll go and make dinner now. Okay. Right. Go and uh, I'm going to say goodbye. Right. And enjoy it. And if you enjoyed this video, give this video a thumbs up. <laughs> it, you watch too much YouTube, mate. You yeah. watch far too much YouTube. Yeah. Anyway, peace out. I enjoy the wings. You, you would, yeah.